what's up YouTube so this is the infamous double egg clutch I got a lot of people liking it on Facebook and Instagram when she laid it when she laid it it had veins but uh, as you can see probably through the top the double egg did not make it it's very rotten so I figured I saw it rotten I'd throw it out these guys are due to hatch any day now I probably won't show the cutting but uh, I'll definitely show them afterwards. Just wanted to let it, give everyone an update. Double egg didn't hatch. Boa litter number two. My IMG 100% head VPI exanthet. Sorry, 100% head VPI T positive. Bred to a jungle boa. I think there's like 16 babies in there, maybe 17 babies. I'm not 100% sure she's even done yet. What's up YouTube? So, uh, I figured I'd show off the um, turtle habitats. They're very overgrown. You can barely see the turtles this time of the year. So, uh, check it out. So, that corner there is where the Easterns often overwinter. Alright. This pond, unfortunately, got ravaged by a raccoon, but uh, still got a lot of fish in there, frogs. I think there's at least one, maybe two or three spotted turtles still. Unfortunately, the raccoon got one of my, at least one of my spotted turtles. And then at the beginning of the year, one of the spotted turtles that I put out there, there's a frog right there, uh, may have made its way through a hole that I later found in the fencing. There's two wood turtles in here that also may have found their way through that hole. Because at the very beginning of the year I stuck one, of, like the biggest of the spotted and, the, and two um, yearling wood turtles out here. And I have never seen them since. So I'm hoping that they escaped and it wasn't the raccoon that got them. The raccoon that came, he tore this whole pond up though. And I found one baby spotted, that was much later though, but one uh, baby spotted that had been partly eaten by the raccoon. I did uh, set up new precautions to keep the raccoons away though, so hopefully that continues to work for me. But um, yeah, in the big enclosure here, I have 2.3 adult box turtles. I have a three-year-old. I have three two-year-olds. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And they're some breeding activity going on that guy here is the male that's a female he's at least courting her then I have two two-year-old wood turtles in here and um, I've released five total spotted turtles in here I did see one of them the other day so I know I have at least one still but I think that the first one escaped and I know that at least one of them got eaten by a raccoon uh, so there could still be three in here in here, do I see any of them? I have three one-year-old Easterns and then four hatchlings from this year of the Easterns. Oh, here you go, size difference. There, let me see this. So that's a one-year-old. And this here, that is a hatchling from this year. Up in the back, there's another uh, of the one-year-old, I think. Right here, yeah, look at that. There you go, my buddy. That is a little bit bigger one-year-old. See? These are Easterns. Oh, there's another hatchling. All right, but just to give you an idea of how overgrown this thing's gotten, 
this part here, I mean, look at all that. That's the elderberry. Those are blackberry and some wild raspberry. That's a peach tree in the back there. Wildflowers. Let's see if I see anything else. But yeah, that is the big enclosure. All right, this here is the next enclosure. This one has my Gulf Coast box turtles and my Chinese box turtles in it. I have six Chinese box turtles in here. And I have 2.4 uh, adult slash sub-adult Gulf Coast. And then I have four big one-year-olds that are all in here. Let's see if I see anybody right now. This pond is overgrown with this stuff. Oh, there you go. This is the biggest female in here. She laid two clutches this year. And the other big female laid two clutches. Let's see. Anybody in here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any turtle. That's, the turtles like it, but it makes it hard for me to find anything. Alright, well this... Oh, I think I just felt one on my foot. Yep, there you go. This is a, a Chinese box turtle. That's one of the six Chinese... All the Chinese box turtles are in the like one to three year range, so I don't actually know their sexes or anything yet. I like to always put them over here near the, near the pool. All right, go in there and enjoy. Um, oh, look at that, there's a big Gulf Coast female. She also laid me two clutches this year. But uh, as I was about to say, this is the hatchling and smaller one-year-old Gulf Coast enclosure up here. Oh, there you go. See the size difference, actually. That's a one-year-old. And then you can see, let's see if I can zoom, zoom in. There is hatchling. There's a one-year-old, another hatchling, hatchling, another one-year-old. So there's two one-year-olds and actually nine hatchlings in this right here. Yeah, as you can see, very overgrown. Just the way the turtles like it. There you go. Alright, this here is my newest enclosure. This is for my marginated tortoises. There's one right there, actually. So here's a marginated. These are yearlings, and uh, I don't see any others right now. That there is for the winter. Um, oh, there's one right there. And sure enough, there's the last right there in the hay. So I have three marginated tortoises in here. I am looking for some more marginated, like two, three, four-year-old marginated. So they probably are not sexy mature and full grown yet, but a little bit bigger than these guys. So if you're watching this and you have some larger marginated tortoises for sale, definitely hit me up. But this is the one I did this year. And the turtles seem to be liking it. And since marginated eat the weeds, they got plenty of food. I put some plants in there that, you know, they'll eat. They can hide on there and whatnot. And all my turtles and tortoises here. Uh, I overwinter outdoors, so that's one thing I like. They don't, you know, take up any space in the snake room. It's all outside. All right. All right. So, uh, wanted to show off just a little bit in the reptile room. Some of the stickers again, guys. Uh, you want to trade stickers? Hit me up. You can hit me up on um, Facebook, Instagram, or um, email. Everything's Osmond Reptiles. So, uh, let me flip you around. There's the inside incubator. 
So I have just enough space that I can look in there. I still have, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like 11 clutches inside. Yeah, there's a little bit more space for some more stickers in here. And then the big incubators outside, there's a lot more space still on that one. But yeah, man, stuff's filling up. Definitely check my morph market out. I just sold a couple snakes, but these both were full, I don't know, a week ago. And there's only maybe five openings between the two. Alright, a lot of that stuff just needs a couple more meals. It'll be up on um, morph market over here. This is about three quarters full. Most of this is my holdbacks. And then I had to turn these two on. It's dark here. This top one is full except for two, three spots, I think. This one here is half full. So yeah, I need to sell some snakes. Hit me up, people. <laughs> um, if you look over here, these three clutches are all in the incubator, but they've all pipped. Um, all of those are in the incubator, but are still cooking. Down here, clutch 37, clutch 38 are due in September. And I got a surprise ovulation from a girl that I thought had reabsorbed, but she didn't. So that was kind of cool. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I paired my Womas and my Columbian Rainbow Boas. Got um, a lock from one of the Columbian Rainbow Boa pairs and from the Womas. Put some of the Boas together too, but no action. I'm starting early with this group of animals just because I'm hoping to maybe get babies earlier with this group. So it's not all at the same time. Um, not that the ball pythons all came at the same time, but like I said, I my hatching racks are almost all full. This incubator is full. Um, and my incubator outside still has like three or four clutches in it. So just a lot of babies. Again, as plans, I do plan on putting another big rack right here. Probably uh, another Freedom Breeder like this or ARS's version of it. And then eventually I'm gonna sell these two hatching racks and put one big ARS hatching rack here. Uh, it'll be just a little bit cleaner looking and there's a couple um, tubs I can't use. Like there's three tubs I can't use because of these bars here. I just stack these on top of each other for space. But yeah, that's what's going on. Um, as you saw with the thumbnail in this video, the main attraction was that double egg. Oop, wrong one. And unfortunately the double egg did not make it as you probably have seen but this little gem came out of that clutch she's feisty as hell let me see if i can get her like, getting bit don't bite me there you go that's a ghi clown the only clown in the clutch awesome little girl probably gonna hold her back she's just so cool looking Feisty though. All right, so here's the outside incubator. Uh, looks like only three clutches left out here. But as you can see, there's a lot of space. Shoot, I got a bad glare. See if I can't get, I even have to put some of the bigger things on the side here. Maybe some of those are extras too, or doubles. But uh, take a look. <laughs> A lot of stickers. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a bad glare, but. All right, and with that being said, Osmond Reptiles out.